Welcome back, everybody. Give it up for Lewis Cade on the Late Show, man. <laughs> Folks, uh, you know, I love tech. It's thanks to technology that gigabit Ethernet, PCIe bandwidth, boost core clock speed, and OpenGL support are all words that can be put in the prompter for me to read up there. <laughs> and I'd like to bring you all the latest tech news in my tech segment, Cyborgasm. First up on Cyborgasm, this device hopes to treat erectile dysfunction. Now, I do not know how it works, and I will not look into it, but I'm gonna assume you show this thing to your penis and say, if you don't start working right now, I'm gonna stick you in this. Tough love, tough love. Up next on the sea gas, Florida International University has now the first robotic kitchen in the country with a robot named Bistro <laughs> that can make about 70 different dish options and can cook as many as four meals at a time. Got it. So, it's a parent. <laughs> okay, you want mac and cheese, your brother wants mac without cheese, and the twins want strawberries, but only if I pick off all the seeds. Fantastic. You're getting nuggets. You're all getting nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> nuggets? Nuggets. <laughs> Next up in the bleepy blorp, on Monday, Apple debuted its new iPhone 16, which is designed for AI, with a slick video showing it off. Suppose you're out for a stroll and you stumble upon a restaurant you haven't been to before. Just click and hold the camera control and point your iPhone. With just a click, boom, your iPhone instantly pulls up restaurant hours, ratings, and quick options to check out the menu or make a reservation. Groundbreaking. <laughs> Finally, you can now stand outside a restaurant and find out when it opens. <laughs> I can't wait. Wow. Don't even <laughs> Race I, can't, I can't wait to hear Apple Intelligence try to explain the menu of a New York City bodega. <laughs> uh, Okay, it says here they sell potato chips, box fans, a baby <laughs> stroller, and apples covered in dust. <laughs> Five stars. Yeah. Up next, uh, a company called Yarbo has unveiled the world's first year-round multi-purpose intelligent yard robot that can mow the lawn and clear the snow. So it's a robot to replace dads. <laughs> If you pay for the premium upgrade, it yells about how the gutters aren't draining. <laughs> the modular robot lawnmower has been described as being like Wall-E for your yard. So, it will confuse your children but make you cry. <laughs> Next up. Come on. Come on. Next up, a math student built a fusion reactor at home with off-the-shelf parts he ordered online and says plasma was achieved in just four weeks. Which brings me to the first installment of my new segment, Should This Be Happening? Uh, hey, uh, people who know about uh, this stuff right here, uh, should this be happening? Because it seems like maybe it shouldn't be happening. Anybody gonna stop it? No? Okay. And that brings me to the first installment of my new segment. Guess this is happening now. <laughs> right there, this stuff right there. <laughs> nothing. This is, I guess this is happening. Nothing, nothing to be done about it, like self-driving cars in kombucha. <laughs> Good or bad, doesn't matter. It's happening. Next up, a robotics firm has announced the ability of their new consumer domestic robot with a flashy new demo video, Jim. Wow! Uh, Look at that! 
hey, honey, hey, honey, I spent 100 grand on a robot to pick up my backpack. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it can sign divorce papers. Why do you ask? <laughs> Next up, in robot exploration news, an underwater robot stumbled across thousands of sharks asleep on the seabed, all of which were female, with one researcher saying, we don't know exactly why the females are here. <laughs> which, coincidentally, is also the official slogan of Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> we'll be right back with Samuel L. Jackson.